welcome to my channel once again this is blockchain sage in this video right now i'm going to show you step by step how to withdraw your coolant coin from satoshi app i'm also going to show you how to set up your metamask core address because that is what you are going to use i'm also going to show you how to withdraw it from the satoshi app step by step i also have to with, uh, set up your asset password all right you know, earlier along, we all mined Coland. I don't know if you also mine, but I believe you mine this. For you to watch the video means that you mine this wonderful coin. Okay. Now, look at Coland here. Yesterday, Satoshi gave us a new update telling us that today, being 1st of July till July 20th, this is the deadline that you are going to use and set up your withdrawal address that you you're going to set up your withdrawal details so that you will receive your coolant tokens okay so that's what we are going to dive into right now first of all you need to set up your asset password let me show you if you go to me you will see me over here you will see personal settings then you will see asset password so if you have forgotten your own personal asset password click on this place asset password then you will now go to forget asset password guys this is very much important you, you click on forget as asset password they will now send you an email that you use and put a new asset password because without it you are not going to withdraw or set up your withdrawal address so what do you need to do go to go to this place go to this section once you go to this section then you choose coland you will see coland over here then you will see that the link withdrawal address has been put in place so what next do you need to do click on the withdrawal section now you will see withdrawal address and asset password like i said earlier now let's go to metamask now this is our satoshi app all right this is our satoshi app sorry this is our metamask okay this is our metamask application now i want us to go to satoshi app let me show you what the, the satoshi team declared that you must do now look at what they said. They said that make sure to submit your core wallet address only. Okay. Now what do they mean? It means that Coland will be minted on core using the core contract address. Okay. So any token that is being listed on as in using a coin details. Or let me put it like this any any token being created under a blockchain is going to use that blockchain's evm address all right for example if you are using uh, if you created your coin under bnb smart chain bnb smart chain will always be your will, will always be your address okay that's why if you have trust wallet you'll see that you have one bnb address all over you see that you have one Ethereum address all over. Any coin that is under Ethereum, that is the same Ethereum address that you're going to use. So this coin right now is going to be created under core. That's why you are going to use core address on this. So I want you to understand it fully. So this is my core address. This is my also core account. Okay. This is the core address. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to show you how to import your own personal address in case you don't know how to do it. All right. So that's the basics of this video. So let's go back. Let me show you what to do in case you don't know how to import your core so easily. Let's go back. So at this section, see where you will go. You will see over to this place. This place I clicked. Now, you now wait. 
for it. Okay. So go to this place. This search engine. Now see what you are going to search. Search for scan. You see the first one. Just you can screenshot it and see what it wrote here. Make sure that you get it right. Scan.codao.org. Then you click on it. You make sure that you input it. This is how you are going to import your call and get your call withdrawal address because that's what you need. That's why I said stick to this video so you are not going to miss anything. So at this session, you have to slide up. All right. Then this is the last section of it. You see what they wrote here. Add call. Add, add call network. Now at this add, add call network, now click on it. You see, it will write sources. Hope you are seeing it. Let me put it again so you will see it. It wrote sources here, which means it has been added. So let us go back. See where we are going to go now. Go to this place. Now, you will now check at the upper angle. You click on it. You will see that core has been added. You must see it. Once it root sources, you must see it. Now you click on it. Core will appear. Then you click on this place. You go to your receive. You copy your address. It's copied. Then it is over for MetaMask for now. Then you have to go back to your Satoshi app. Now, back at, at your Satoshi app, you have to go back to that place that I showed you earlier. Okay. You slide up, choose colon, link withdrawal address. Now, put your withdrawal address there. Once you put it, now, now that's your asset password that you created. Add it there. If you have not added your asset password yet, okay, make sure that you create a new asset password. Or if you have forgotten the earlier video as in the earlier footage i showed you how to change your asset password so you have to put your asset password so i've added my asset password right now and they are going to verify it using the email address i provided when creating my satoshi app so i'm going to get the email address right now and put the code and it will be automatically sanctified secondly if you have not done your KYC, okay? They will also need your face verification for those. But if you didn't encounter such, this is the process you are going to use. So if you, if you can check up there, you see that I've gotten the email. So I'm going to put it right now. So as you can see, I've gotten the email. So let me confirm. The phone's password that you entered is wrong. So let me redo it again. So I've gotten the right asset password kudos to me now what i said earlier face verification you have also seen it so i'm not being wronged so you have to click on start verification then you go to a clear place where you verify your kyc where that's where you verify your face so i'm going to do it right now so guys i've done that I've verified my face and my KYC. All right. So this is the last step you are going to take to do everything right. That's nothing again that will be required of you. All right. Once you do all these things I narrated here, you are good to go. Okay. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Okay. Subscribe to this channel and like this video. Also share it to those who will need this video because there's a lot of people who don't know how to go about this step by step the way I narrated it. So thank you so much.